Hey everyone, Derpy here, back with another Battle Pirates video. And this is my Let's Build a Pegasus initial thoughts video after I've done some a couple playing around with builds and some initial testing. Make sure you watch all the way through for the full explanation. So I'm going to give some general build advice for the Pegasus for those of you who aren't really sure what you should be building it for. Most of you probably know this, but it's always good to go over this with a refresher. So the Pegasus is an assault ship, which means you're going to be using it on assault targets, which have both buildings and ships. Now, the Pegasus is going to use missiles, which still penetrate and damage, and some good stats you want to increase are damage, projectile speed, critical chance, and possibly range. We'll talk more about that later. You also want to increase penetrative and corrosive survival, using things like specials, CICs, and the built-in stats of the Pegasus. Anti-missiles are also going to be important when hitting assault targets. Some other things that we might want to consider are is evade, stun resistance, and speed, among some other things. So I'm going to break this down into a couple stages. The first stage is VXP. I'm 100% certain that this builds right. So when you're going for VX VXP, just build it everything blank, one cannon on, and maybe one missile if you can afford the spare build time to try and kill some things. Now, if you're just getting the Pegasus in the TLC that's offered or in or in the next raid or in, or in Pillage, anything like that, and you just want to get blanks out for VXP, that's the way to go. The next step is my stage two. This is my basic build. I'm about 90% certain that this will, that this is right. So you're adding in about, you're adding in four missiles on here using the bladed pinion missiles or the razor plume missiles. One of these is limited, which is a slight, slightly bit better, but don't worry about it too much. As far as specials, I have high-speed missile jets to increase projectile speed and damage, and the limited special rapid roller bearing, which was available in the raid and also is in the TLC, and that will help increase things like accuracy, range, and reload, which are all good things you want. Now, make sure you look into this and see if, if you're watching this a month or so later, if there's any updates here. Maybe it turns out that a certain special is not best to use. Now, if you don't have high-speed missile jets, I can recommend things like high-velocity rounds instead. And rapid roller bearing, you can replace with something else that gives missile range and accuracy and possibly reload if you can find that. My stage 2 build is my medium. This is about 50% certain that this will work out. I'm adding in another two missiles. Again, the same bladed pinion or razor plume missiles. Penetrative or corrosive sink drive is going to be an engine special, and I'm somewhat certain about this, and that's going to increase movement and also have survival. I don't know whether I can pick corrosive or penetrative at this point, which is more important. I will say that there's a maximum of 10 limited sink drives you can have on your ships at one time. So I have five penetrative on my nemesis and five penetrative on my Praetorians, which means I can only go corrosive on my um, on my Pegasus. I wish they would increase it to 20 or at least 15 or even unlimited sync drives that we can store at one time and build on our ships at one time. I'm also adding in penetrative battery here, and this increases damage as well as turret defense for, uh, for your ships in these targets here. Damage helps against both buildings and against the enemy ships, while turret defense obviously only helps against turrets. My next stage is my advanced build this is going to be my suggested final 100 done this is adding one more missile and one more anti-missile you could and i think i might even personally go ahead and put two missile defense system threes on here instead of having so i have uh, two missile defense system threes and six missiles instead of seven and one because i'm still not sure if it would be best to have one ship that's fully anti a fifth ship that's ship number five in your fleet is only 100% anti-missiles and has five missile defense system three and everything else has um, has regular has regular missiles on it. But I think the best is going to be a seven and one or six and two general setup. I'm also adding the limited surgical strike warhead, which helps re increase reload and damage, and is also in the Pegasus TLC right now, as well as the Prometheus missile system, which came out with the previous within the previous assault cycle. And that increases critical chance and also buffs your anti-missiles on your holes, so you're getting benefits out of that. And I haven't talked about armors or CICs yet, but I'm going to do that in a second. So with armors, armors are not needed to complete the target. 
and I might even leave it blank till after the first raid um, because there are new armors coming in for the second mission. They're actually all out already now. I've been playing this video for a while now to get it tested. Um, so new armors are in for second mission and you can get them for 25 million points each. And there's only one armor of each kind per ship. And I'm still not quite sure what damage will be avoidable or not avoidable. It seems that all of the turrets in the enemy targets deal missile damage while all of the while all the ships deal corrosive damage. So it might be that if you drive perfectly, for example, you avoid all corrosive damage and therefore won't need any corrosive armors. So it's still something that we get to see in the final targets. Yes, we have seen some in the VXP weekend, but that's not good enough. And they changed a little bit, as we saw with the Dragoon and the Dragoon thing. So if you're going to put armors on your ships, go with one of each from the Forsaken mission, but do those last after all your weapons and specials. And now on the CICs, there's two CICs possible. One is the Turing CIC, which is very good against buildings, it has all the stats that I lifted on the screen here. It has a hostile aura that makes turrets weaker within a short range, as well as a friendly aura that increases your speed, penetrative survival of your of your other Pegasus ships, but it decreases range. So that's a trade-off. You're lowering range to do better, to move faster, and do better against turrets. So that's something you have to keep in mind. Now, the other CIC is the Nessus CIC, and this is good against ships, and it surfaces submarines, prevents corrosive damage, has a hostile aura too, which makes turrets weaker, as well as a friendly aura, which increases range and corrosive survival, and decreases both turn speed and combat speed. Now, what you can see from those is that there are two playstyles generally, or you can go on a range of playstyles. Nessus is good against ships, which do only corrosive damage, and will have your ships being have high ship resistance and have longer range. And this is going to be the generally speaking more precise driving. The Turian CIC will be better against buildings, have high penetrative survival, shorter range, you moving closer, and slightly less precise driving. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to um, combine the you, you can end up combining things because if the Nessus gives you, if the Nessus uh, increases your, your, it decreases your range, as I've said here, and increases your combat speed, and the turn does the opposite. So if you can combine them and go two and two or three and two, you can balance it out. I'm planning on going for two of each on my four Pegasus, and I'm not sure on the final one yet, although right now I'm leaning towards a Missile one on the flag once we get the flag, which I'm expecting to happen in pillage. So I'm almost at the end of the video now, but there's just a couple more things I need to say. First of all, is that my builds may not be final, they may change. If they do change, I'm going to be releasing a Fleet Spotlight video probably during or after the next or the upcoming raid in November. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and this video did take a while to make, so if you did like it, I have a couple things I want to talk about in a second. But you can feel free to share this to any Facebook pages, any web pages, whatever you want. And I'm also going to post Kixi hash codes for my recommended ship builds in the in the in the YouTube description and maybe comment section of a couple things I posted this to. But I have five things that you can do to help this video out. Number one is you can comment below. If you have any questions, you can let me answer any questions you have on the Pegasus, on this video, and Battle Pirates in general. Comment below on YouTube is the best place or on whatever Facebook group I posted this on so I can answer those questions. Number two is you can like the video, and that just lets me know that videos like this are good. And if it gets more likes, I'll know it's good, I'll know it's helpful, so I'll make more of them. So if you want to see more videos like this, click the like button. Number three is you can subscribe, and that lets you just see all my videos in one place. It's not dependent on seeing them on Facebook in case you're not in the group I post them to or you don't see them, they don't get traction. You'll be able to still be able to see them on YouTube. And the fourth thing is you can just click the notification bell and that just will send you a push notification to your phone or computer or whatever. And just see all my videos as they're released. So I hope you enjoyed. And as always, this is Derpy signing out, helping you be a better pirate.